Emma stumbled upon a secret about Mr. Donovan's past, one that explained his passion for teaching and his unconventional methods. The revelation deepened her respect for him. It happened quite by accident. Emma was rearranging the books in the school library as part of her volunteer duties when an old, dusty journal fell from the top shelf. The journal's worn cover intrigued her, and she couldn't resist the urge to peek inside. The first few pages were filled with sketches and notes that seemed to belong to a younger version of Mr. Donovan. Curious, Emma read on and discovered a story she never expected. Years ago, Mr. Donovan had been a brilliant but troubled student. He had a natural talent for science and mathematics, but his home life was chaotic. His father, a stern and uncompromising man, had no patience for what he deemed childish dreams. Young Donovan found solace in his studies, which became his escape from a harsh reality. One particular entry caught Emma's eye. It described a pivotal moment when a kind-hearted teacher recognized Donovan's potential and took him under his wing. This teacher, Mr. Harris, introduced Donovan to the wonders of experimental learning, encouraging him to think outside the box and pursue his passions despite any obstacles. Mr. Harris's influence was profound. He not only helped Donovan excel academically but also instilled in him a love for teaching and a belief in the power of unconventional methods. It was a transformative relationship that shaped Donovan's future. As Emma closed the journal, she felt a newfound admiration for Mr. Donovan. His passion for teaching and his sometimes unorthodox methods were no longer a mystery. They were a tribute to the mentor who had saved him and a testament to the enduring impact of compassionate education. From that day forward, Emma approached her studies and interactions with Mr. Donovan with a deeper understanding and respect. She realized that behind every strict rule and challenging assignment was a teacher who cared deeply about his students' growth and success, just as Mr. Harris had cared for him. The secret she had uncovered was more than a glimpse into Mr. Donovan's past. It was a lesson in empathy, resilience, and the transformative power of mentorship. Just weeks before the regional competition, a major setback threatened Emma's project. The prototype malfunctioned, and the team had to scramble to find a solution. Emma stared at the lifeless hunk of metal and wires on the workbench. The prototype, which had shown so much promise, was now nothing more than a frustrating puzzle of malfunctioning circuits and unresponsive components. Her heart sank as she realized the gravity of the situation. We don't have much time she said, her voice barely above a whisper. The rest of the team gathered around her, their faces mirroring her concern. We need to figure out what went wrong, said Raj, the team's electronics expert, already pulling out his multimeter. Let's start by checking the power supply. Hours turned into days as the team worked tirelessly, diagnosing, testing, and reassembling parts. Sleep-deprived and running on caffeine, they faced one challenge after another. Each small victory was quickly followed by another setback. Despite the mounting pressure, there was a sense of unity and determination among them. Emma's leadership shone through as she coordinated efforts and kept everyone's spirits up. We've come too far to give up now, she reminded them during one particularly tough night. Remember why we started this project. We can do this. Slowly but surely, progress was made. Raj discovered a short circuit in the main control board, while Sarah, the software guru, identified a bug in the code that was causing intermittent failures. With these issues addressed, the prototype began to show signs of life again. As the regional competition loomed ever closer, the team pushed themselves to the limit. Their perseverance paid off when, just days before the event, the prototype was finally back on track. It wasn't perfect, but it was functional. Exhausted but elated, Emma and her team knew they had overcome a significant hurdle. The setback had tested their resolve, but it had also strengthened their bond and commitment to the project. Let's show them what we're made of, Emma said with a determined smile as they packed up their equipment for the competition. The team nodded in agreement, their confidence renewed and ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With Mr. Donovan's guidance, Emma and her team worked tirelessly to rebuild their prototype. The experience tested their resilience and ingenuity. Emma gathered her team in the workshop, a determined glint in her eyes. 
We know what went wrong last time, she began. And now we have a chance to make it right. Mr. Donovan nodded encouragingly. Remember, failure is just another step towards success. The team decided to start with the core component that had failed during their previous test. They sketched out new designs, debated over materials, and scrutinized every angle and connection. Material selection asterisk after exhaustive research, they chose a new ally that promised both strength and flexibility. Energy efficiency asterisk they reworked the power management system to optimize energy use and reduce waste. The days turned into nights as the team immersed themselves in the rebuild. Coffee cups piled up, and white bars filled with complex equations and diagrams. One night, around 2 a.m., Emma had a breakthrough. What if we adjust the calibration by just a fraction of a degree? She suggested. The next day, they implemented Emma's idea. The improvement was noticeable, but it wasn't perfect. They knew they still had work to do. We need to test every variable, Mr. Donovan advised. Leave no stone unturned. After weeks of relentless effort, the prototype was ready for final assembly. The air was thick with anticipation as they connected the last pieces. Precision work asterisk each screw was tightened with care, each wire meticulously connected. Team collaboration asterisk every member of the team played a critical role, their skills and insights blending seamlessly. With bated breath, they powered up the prototype. The machine whirred to life, lights blinking in a reassuring sequence. Emma's heart raced as the initial test showed promising results. Mr. Donovan smiled. You've done it. You've truly rebuilt something remarkable. As the team celebrated, Emma took a moment to reflect. The rebuild had been more than just a technical challenge. It had been a journey of growth and perseverance. They had faced setbacks but emerged stronger and more united. With the prototype successfully rebuilt, Emma and her team knew this was just the beginning. New challenges awaited, but they were ready to face them, confident in their ability to overcome any obstacle. The rebuild had tested their limits, but it also revealed their true potential. Together, they were unstoppable. The day of the regional competition arrived. Emma's team embarked on a road trip, filled with anticipation and a hint of nervous excitement. Emma sat in the back seat of the van, her earbuds in, listening to her favorite playlist. The scenery whizzed by endless green fields, occasional farmhouses, and the distant silhouette of mountains. The van, packed with her teammates, buzzed with a mix of chatter and laughter. Coach Stevens, ever the calm presence, sat in the passenger seat, occasionally turning around to offer a reassuring smile. Remember, it's just another game. He had said before they left. Focus on your strengths and play as a team. Emma glanced at her teammates. There was Sarah, the team's ace pitcher, going over her pitching motions with her eyes closed. Next to her, Max was flipping through his notes, probably revisiting strategies they'd discussed during practice. In the driver's seat, Mr. Johnson, the team manager, hummed along to a classic rock station, his fingers tapping the steering wheel in rhythm. The road trip was a blend of lighthearted moments and serious reflections. At one point, they stopped at a small diner for lunch. The team crowded into a booth, sharing plates of fries and recounting their favorite plays from past games. Laughter echoed through the diner, momentarily easing the tension of the upcoming competition. Back on the road, the conversations turned to the game. Strategies were discussed, and Emma found herself thinking about her role in the team. She was the catcher, the strategist on the field, and she needed to be at her best. As they neared the town where the competition would be held, the nervous excitement grew. The van fell silent as everyone lost themselves in their thoughts, mentally preparing for the game ahead. Emma looked out the window, the town's welcome sign coming into view. This was it, the moment they'd been working towards all season. The van pulled into the parking lot of the sports complex. The fields were bustling with other teams warming up, their energy palpable. Emma took a deep breath, feeling a mix of anxiety and determination. All right, team, Coach Stevens said, his voice steady. Let's show them what we've got. Emma nodded, feeling the weight of the moment. This road trip was just the beginning. The real journey was about to start on the field. The regional competition was fierce, 
with teams from all over the state presenting incredible projects. Emma's team felt the pressure but remained hopeful. The auditorium buzzed with excitement and nervous energy. Bright banners and colorful booths filled the space, each team showcasing months of hard work. Emma scanned the room, taking in the impressive displays, a solar-powered drone, a water purification system, and an AI-driven health monitoring app, to name a few. Wow, whispered Max, one of Emma's teammates. The competition is really tough this year. Emma nodded, trying to keep her anxiety in check. We've got this, she said, more to herself than to anyone else. Their project, a sustainable urban garden model, had taken countless hours of planning, designing, and testing. They believed in its potential to make a real difference in urban communities. As the judges made their rounds, Emma's team did their best to present their project with confidence. They highlighted the innovative irrigation system, the use of recycled materials, and the community engagement aspect. The judges asked probing questions, and Emma was grateful for the many practice sessions they had done. When it was finally time for the winners to be announced, the atmosphere was electric. Everyone gathered near the stage, hearts pounding. The third and second place winners were called, and Emma's team held their breath. And the first place goes to... The announcer paused for dramatic effect. Green Future Innovations, for their sustainable urban garden model. Emma's team erupted in cheers, hugging each other in disbelief and joy. All the late nights and hard work had paid off. They walked to the stage, accepting their trophy with wide smiles and teary eyes. As they posed for photos, Emma felt a deep sense of accomplishment and pride. The competition had been intense, but they had proven to themselves and others what determination and teamwork could achieve.